Hi everybody, I'm the Krill, and welcome back to Pokemon! Randomized Pokemon Leaf Green to be exact. So, this is the second recording session that I'm doing of this, and I need to fight this jerkwad. Hey Wade, hurry up! What's the rush? <sighs> I realised that wasn't what he said at all, I was paraphrasing though, so fuck you. Alright, uh, so, first off I want to apologise, this weird bar on the right hand side. I have no idea what that is. And I can't make that disappear, so I apologize. <laughs> he has a Snorlax. Shit. Right, okay. It's a magical leaf, I guess. So, yeah, as as well, another thing I've done is made my uh, picture smaller. So that you can actually see my Pokemon's health and level and stuff. And, yeah, because I only realized at the end of that session <laughs> how bad everything was. So, yeah, um... Also, sorry. I want to apologise. Uh, the last recording session of this. I didn't say very much. And I want to apologise for that. Like, really, deep down, I want to apologise. My excuse is... It was hot as balls in my room that day. And I was concentrating just enough to actually play Pokemon. So, I really, really do apologise. Um, I, I do actually have um, paper. It's not just any paper. Oh no. Oh no. This is uh, actually paper that I have uh, a couple of uh, anecdotes and stories on. So, I do actually have shit to talk about today. So, yay! This uh, next few episodes of Pokemon is. Ha! Huh, Slay King. Oh, yeah, this next few episodes of Pokemon, I'm actually going to have uh, stuff to talk about, so hopefully it will be enjoyable for you guys and gals. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. Right? So, okay. I... <laughs> University! Now that the segue is <laughs> No, <laughs> like... I, so, one thing that people... Uh, are always like surprised to hear about is that I actually, you know, have a degree in psychology uh, because they meet me and go, "Wow, you're a fucking idiot," and it's like, "Yeah, I I did study psychology. I I studied a, you know, an actual scientific, well, <laughs> a pseudo scientific uh, subject at university, and I had a great time while doing it. Um, and." <laughs> My friends and I were very hands-on. Um, <laughs> there, there is a giggle while saying that. Uh, this, this is like how hands-on we were. So years and years and years ago, this is like one of the like approaches in psychology. Uh, there was a, a researcher called Pavlov. You had these dogs, and if anyone's heard of this experiment, then fair enough. It's basically conditioning, right? Um, so what, what he noticed was he would ring a bell while feeding his dogs and they would salivate and he wanted to find out whether it was they were salivating because of the food being presented to them or whether it was the bell. So he kept doing it and ringing this bell as he was presenting them with food and then one day he rang the bell and didn't present them food and they still salivated so it was like alright so they've come to uh, sort of associate the sound of this bell with food, which brings on that response. It's like stimuli response, and then you sort of interrupt that gap and still get the same response. And it's like, okay, like you have one stimulus that introduces that response, that invokes that response, yeah, and then you introduce another like stimulus, like completely blank stimulus, has nothing to do with it. But with repetition, it ends up that this blank stimuli over here then leads to that same response. So if you take away the actual stimulus that invokes that primary response, it's this one now that does it. It's weird. But the reason I explain that is because we we sort of conditioned one of our course mates. Um I, I will explain what happened. Um, so, 
we wanted to like sort of try this out for ourselves. We were like, well, we can't do it with, with anything like you know really serious because then that's completely unethical and in psychology you can get absolutely fucking uh, just annihilated if you break like the ethical rules which we kind of did anyway but nah, my net trick don't give a shit right whatever um so we um we conditioned a friend of ours to yawn on command. It's every bit as brilliant as it sounds, okay? So, it started off with like, oh, you know, someone would say the word yawn as someone was yawning, and he would see and hear both and go, oh, right, shit, kiss you. Excuse me, you know, yawning is contagious. If you see someone yawn, then you yawn. So, he would see someone yawning, and then hear the word yawn. And with repetition, he came to associate the word yawn with seeing someone else yawn. You can see where this is going. <laughs> so basically, you could look at him and go, yawn. And he would yawn. And then we took it a step further. We then made it so that if he saw the word yawn, he would yawn. And then his brain filled in the gaps and then it became a case of, no, I don't want to learn sweet kiss. Causes confusion. Oh, fu well, fuck yeah. Shout the cutting gets attack. Fuck it, why not? Right. Um. So yeah, his brain then started to fill in the gaps, so he would, uh, you know, hear the word yawn, and yawn, and see the word yawn, and yawn. Then all he had to do was think of the word yawn. And there you go. It was ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, like, we, we all found it funny, like... So did he. He was a real good sport about it. Like, that's what I enjoyed. But it was the fact that he didn't notice it happening until it had happened. And it was just fantastic. Because then it was like, oh man, I might yawn. And then he yawned. And we was just like, you pricks. And we are like, do you see what we've done? And he was like, you conditioned me, haven't you? And we were like, kind of. And then he just, like, every time it happened, he just turned to us and go, Bastards. <laughs> like, in a jokey way, obviously. It was really funny. Like, oh, the silly stuff that I used to get up to at university. <sighs> like, I've, uh, I've mentioned on a live stream before. I think I've mentioned it on a couple. But now it's going to be on a video, so why not? Uh... If any of you guys have ever watched the uh, ASDF movies, the ASDF movies, um, by Tom Scar. Tom Scar, by the way, big fan. Um, <laughs> no one is ever going to watch this. Um, but this one time at university, I went out, I got super drunk. I don't advocate drinking alcohol, by the way. Don't do it. It's stupid. And it hurts. <laughs> And it costs money. Lots and lots of money. Um, but yeah, I, I went out, I got super drunk, and then I came back home at like 5 in the morning. And everyone else in my house was asleep. And I just walked in, closed the door behind myself, and then just went, Everybody do the flap! And then threw myself on the ground. So that all my housemates heard was, Everybody do the flop at the top of my lungs. Followed by this massive thud and a crash. And then that was followed by, ow! So yeah, that, that was fun. And I'm completely aware that there's a Lugia on screen right now. And I don't think I have any Pokeballs. And it used Whirlwind anyway, so that's completely relevant. Do, do I have any? No, okay. Great. <laughs> 
Oh, this isn't going well. Because obviously, I have Brock to fight, but all his Pokemon are going through random. And I could only buy two Pokeballs. Oh my god, this sucks. Okay. You know what? I'm not even going to bother trying to catch anything. No. Because there's really no point with only two Pokeballs. Right, hang on. Where's... Is he even on this? Probably... N oh, wait, no. Trading my Clefairy for one. I had two Pikachu, so yay, yay. He's been a kind soul. Tell me about yourself. I'd love to hear your profile. Tell me something good about yourself. I am a Pokemon friend! Yes, alright, whatever. You're fickle, aren't you? Yeah, fuck you. It's a matter. Eat shit. Anyway, um. <laughs> They're all like bug catchers, you know, just hobbyists. Yeah, whatever. Brock fanboy. So, yeah, there is literally sweet FA that I can do around here, pretty much. Other than go to the gym. I'll level up. And I'm well aware that I need to level up. Oh, I need to level up. Uh, I'm gonna check this way. Because I remember the. Really? Is there not something here? Yeah, what? Ugh, what a stone? That doesn't help. Ah, uh, Clefairy came from the moon. It came from the moon. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm now realising that it's pretty much time for the next episode. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have. Please leave a like, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, hit that subscribe button right now, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everybody.